despite how confident you are, if you're walking to a room full of strangers, yeah. you're going to have some sort of feeling creep up like, oh, I don't know anyone there, or I'm not sure who I'll talk to, or I don't know how this will go. What I'll say about that is I actually think it's a big role of the host to be able to foster that connection amongst the guests. So as the host, whether it's cookbook club, a dinner party, or a professional event that you're throwing. Um, I've taken the Art of Gathering course by Priya Parker. I've done my mm. own course um, all about yeah. hosting your own IRL events. So if you're looking to host your own event, I take you through my entire process on how I do it from the point of invitation to execution. So it's a really uh, simple two-hour masterclass that teaches you everything you need to know. But I always say it starts at the point of invitation. So the host is responsible for making sure that the group feels comfortable because no one wants to walk in feeling like they don't belong or they don't know what their place is or why they were invited to connect with this specific group of people. So yeah. if the host hasn't done that and you're still feeling worried, I mean, I think you you as the host have that responsibility. So for anyone out there that wants to host, I think that's the thing that you should be most mindful of is how do I make sure immediately when my guests come in, that they feel welcome, that they feel accepted, that they feel comfortable. So there's lots of things that you can do as the host to do that. But if you're attending and you have some of that anxiety creeping in, I actually always suggest reaching out to the host in advance if you can and you have direct access to them, sending a note and just letting them know that like your nerves are kind of there and saying, hey, I'm really looking forward to this, but like I don't know anyone. Is there someone specific you think I should talk to when I'm there that I can maybe connect with um, or that you think I'd like really get along with? And I've had people do that with me or I've, you know, as the host kind of facilitated that connection, I'm, I'm a connector naturally, but just sort of thinking about, yeah. okay, that person would, you know, get along with that person because they have this in common or whatever it may be. And that way, once you get there, you kind of know who to look out for. And you could be like, oh, you know, Palak told me that we would get along really well. And I really just want to introduce myself. And it, it kind of breaks some of that ice, even in advance of you going to the event. So reaching out is never a bad thing. If someone's hosting an event or hosting a cookbook club, there's no harm in trying to make that connection before the event actually happens. Because the event's already in yeah. place once, once the invite is sent. You bring up a really good point about the job of the host is to help people connect and facilitate yeah. those connections. Um, that, I mean, that's a big part of why you're having the gathering anyway. You, and you want exactly. your guests to feel comfortable and have fun and you want your friends to meet your other friends or your future friends to meet your future friends. Exactly. Exactly. And I think people often forget that. And they, what I hear uh, the most often is, you know, I want to host because I just want to have a party or I want to host because it's my birthday or I want to host sort of for an occasion, but there has to be a reason and intention behind the gathering. So even if you're looking at, you know, a birthday party, it's like, great, you want to, you want a birthday party, but there's so many intentions that you can have at a, at a birthday party. Is it because you want to celebrate a milestone? Is it because you want to recognize the people in your life? Do you want them to contribute to something? Do you want them to play a role in the gathering? Like all of these questions are often overlooked and that's why some gatherings fall flat and people leave wondering what happened or maybe they didn't feel so great when they were there or they're wondering at the event, like, what am I doing here? Or I'm not having the best time. Happens all yeah. the time. And that really that falls on the host to make sure that they are being really clear with their guests as to why they've chosen to consciously bring this group of people together. 